Hey there, uh, today I just want to show you my workflow for getting texture maps out of Substance Painter uh, for use in native Lightwave. Uh, so let me just get straight into it. So we come to export textures. Um, I've created a preset already called native Lightwave. So if we just check that out. So here you can see I've created a, an RGB and I've attached the input map for base color for that. That's going to be used in our Lightwave color channel. Uh, then I've created another RGB, and that's a normal OpenGL converted map. Then for specular, that's another converted map down here, uh, just in the RGB channel. Then for gloss, I've used the Unity 4 gloss here into the grayscale. Uh, for AO, I'm going to drop this into the diffuse t channel in Lightwave, so that's just from the mesh maps here. Then for any sort of emissive uh, properties, which you see in the center there, um, this is going to be used in the luminosity channel. So I've just dragged the emissive into that, into the grayscale. And for res reflection, uh, this is going to be from the converted maps down here into a grayscale. So I'll just export those. Okay, so they're exported, so let's just jump over to layout now where I've got the same mesh and I've also got uh, the same HDR panorama that I've been using in Substance Painter just set up as a textured environment just to give us some continuity of the lighting. So let's just load up the images I've exported from Substance Painter and just come straight to the service editor. This is super simple. So I'm just going to start adding the maps to the relative channels. So here we've got our color channel. Luminosity, this will be the emissive area area in the center. Then we've got diffuse where we add the ambient occlusion map. Specularity. and the reflection. So we'll just jump in the node editor and add a normal map and drop that one in there. Okay, let's have a look now. So if I turn on VPR, this isn't looking much like the, uh, the version in Substance Painter right now, but with a little tiny bit of tweaking uh, we can get pretty close. So the first thing is to have a look at our reflection map here. If we just bring the reflection down to something like point, minus point 0.4 or minus point 0.65, let's try that. That's getting somewhere close now to uh, Substance Painter. Also, if we give the RGB color a little tweak, I'm just going to boost the saturation on that a little bit. And just one final thing on the color channel, I'm just going to make the center white. So I'm going to add a layer and I'm going to use the emissive channel that we exported which is luminosity and I'll just set that as a Photoshop screen so it's not absolutely perfect but uh, certainly usable I mean it's, it's, it's not far off at all what we've got here and with a little bit of tweaking uh, you can get pretty close